YouTube channel that doesn't make the income that you desire. This is a common problem. I'm gonna give you the number one reason that most YouTube channels, not some, not just a few, but most do not make the income that the creator wants is because the YouTube channel it was never designed to make money outside of outside of AdSense. One of the things you gotta understand when you are looking at YouTube channels and you're watching what YouTube creators do, you have to understand there's a, a fundamental concept called topic genre or what I like to call buckets. Say you're in the woodworking. There's a lot of people who are in the woodworking. Say you make tables or chairs and you have all of the woodworking equipment in your garage. There's a huge do-it-yourself community. Very big bucket. Very, very big. Now, this is something else that has happened because of the collaborative environment of the internet. If you are a YouTube creator and you've ever said these words, I'm not trying to make any money, I don't do this for money. I don't want any money from you guys. No wonder your channel sucks in terms of making money. You could have one of the most creative, some of the best YouTube videos on the ch platform and hardly make any money outside of AdSense. If you're a beauty vlogger, you've got the sponsorships. If you've got a lot of subscribers, the sponsors, the networks, they come after you. You're getting something in your in inbox every day about, hey, join this network, join that network. And even with that, there's really, from a ratio or proportion perspective, not that many full-time YouTubers. I'm a full-time internet person that has a YouTube channel that creates lead generation for my business. So you could call me a full-time YouTuber. I could make that work, but I could not live on my pure YouTube earnings. Last month, in the holidays, if you've been doing YouTube for a while, you know December's earnings are artificially inflated because of the ad spend of everybody putting out Christmas advertising. I mean, it was like 1500 bucks, which is five, $500, $600 more than normal. That was accelerated. That was exceptional money. Now, I don't gear my channel for primary AdSense income. I don't gear my channel for a sponsorship income because I do have sponsors. Uh, I do the Audible thing because it meshes well with what with I already do. But a lot of sponsors, it makes no sense. Um, like Rilio, you go in there, <clears throat> most of that stuff would not benefit my audience, so it doesn't even make any sense to talk about it. But even with that, if you don't have at least 10,000 subscribers and are getting two to 20,000, you know, 2,000 views to 20,000 views per video, it, it's still, I mean, if you got, like I put in there, like if a video only made a thousand, had a thousand views, it was like $20, $30 per video that was sponsored. Well, you know, that's like a good day for me on AdSense. I mean, I'll do between 28 up to 50 because it just depends on what happens. Someone that placed one of my videos in the forum and I was doing like damn near a hundred bucks a day off that one video, that one video. So things like that happen, they can skew it. But if you have never thought of doing some kind of business outside of the AdSense platform, outside of the sponsorship platform, outside of the donations, I do get uh, fan funding, I do get donations. Sometimes they're like crazy outrageous. Someone will donate 500, someone will, I mean, that happens, but it is not, whoa, that's kind of crazy, and why is she smiling? It is not enough to be predictable income. It, it's not. It's, you know, the, what, what your AdSense income should be is nice to have money. 
You should be in the position where you have a source of income that is coming in that is not predominantly AdSense. So when your AdSense money comes in, that could be your money to blow. My AdSense money is marketing money. I use that for marketing. So the channel generates income to promote the channel, which is a very nice thing because I use that money to promote the channel. The channel gets more subscribers, more views, then I get more money to promote. You, know, you see how that goes. And that's how I use it because I make money outside of that paradigm. So if your channel is sucking and you're not making uh, money that you would like because this is the thing. If you are a frequent contributor to the YouTube community, you're posting anywhere from two to shoot, some people do seven videos a week. So if you're posting pretty regularly and your videos are seven to 15 minutes long and you care about your videos and you're, you're editing your videos and doing all this stuff, you have a lot of time invested into your creation. And it can be somewhat disheartening for you to put in so many hours, so much time, and just literally get pennies for your efforts. Now, my thing is different because when I started on YouTube, AdSense wasn't even an op it wasn't an option. That was back then when they had the limited partner program. And I can tell you the YouTube partner program was sweet because the AdSense pool was sm much, much smaller. Then some smart person at YouTube said, hey, you know, if we open this up to everyone, we won't have a lot of people making big money because true story, back in 2011, I used to get like 1,800 to 2,500 bucks a month. I didn't have... I had maybe 10,000 subscribers, six, seven, something like that. Maybe 10, maybe 10,000 subscribers, uh, not even close to the views I have. That's how sweet it was back then. And that's why a lot of YouTubers were like really just going up there because YouTube is maturing. And what worked in 2006, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, it's not working today. Also, demographics are shifting you have people who were killing it and then they saw their channel slip because the demographics grew up. See, this is something else that's confronting many YouTubers who started very young. Their audience outgrew them. They didn't grow up with their audience. They didn't stay in line. They did not position their channel because for growth. Because if you were doing stupid 13 year old pranks, if you don't leverage yourself and expand yourself, your audience is gonna outgrow you and the current crop of 13 year old boys that like those pranks, they have their own peer who's making videos, who is on their level, who speaks their language and you don't. And that's why your channel is slipping. I've had a lot of people talk smack about me because I will, when I see the shift happening, I'll move. I will not wait for the slaughter to come. I will actually move. So if you've got this channel and you were making money and all of a sudden your ass and sense income was cut in half, then it got cut again, that's one of the things that's going on. Two, you will hear this all day long on YouTube. You can start a YouTube channel with your iPhone. You can. You can get amazing video with your iPhone. It's true. Uh, before I got this GoPro Hero, I, I made all of my driving videos with my iPhone. Problem is, I had to flip it around and estimate all the angles and positions because the 1080p, I've got a 65 inch television at home. I watch my videos on my television, not because it's a Kanye West moment, well, it really, it kinda is, but I do that because I know people are watching my video on TV. And if you're making 720 and it's not a good sharp crisp 720 it's gonna look crazy on a big screen television and everyone's getting a bigger television everyone's getting greater definition so you go ahead and continue to make these phone these videos which will get you put on which will make you money now but YouTube is a long-term play I have videos fortunately <laughs> I, I got a decent camera that are four and five years old that still make me money that still get me subscribers for my current productions. So if you start to think of, well, 
uh, I see a lot of these videos like you don't need to spend a lot of money um, it, you don't have to and then in the same video they will complain about the limitations they have because they don't have the proper equipment uh, I got two big one I, I have to film when the Sun is up that's the only time I get good light let me just tell you a three-point lighting system or four-point if you want to be fancy is less than 200 fucking dollars now if you have a YouTube channel that's making four five six seven eight hundred bucks a month two hundred dollars ain't shit to invest in making your channel better keep listening to you don't have to invest I have a Canon 70d I have two iMac computers I have a lot of gear for this channel because this channel gets me leads. Now, let's say you starting off with an iPhone or an iPad. Start off, that's what you got, do it. But put aside 10, 20, 30, 40 dollars a month, save it up, and as soon as you can make the leap to a DSLR or a nicer camcorder, do it. Do it, because this is something else. Because as you start to build your studio, it lends itself to other things. You can take a still, like let's say you have a DSLR and you've got the depth of field where the background is blurry, right? You can take an image, 1080p, super sharp, super clear, take that image out of your video and transfer that to Instagram and it's gonna look banging. Because if you're a YouTuber and you've been searching through your reel for thumbnails, you know that there's a there's often a shot that's in there that's remarkable you find that shot transfer it to Instagram make that your thumbnail get Instagram traffic over to YouTube because of quality everyone that has a really top-notch Instagram account that I really check and follow quality is present now you can get some amazing pictures with an iPhone and good lighting you really can but for YouTube and for the future, once again, I am speaking to the future. If all the money you have is to get you a good iPhone, get it, start putting videos up. But remember, you want to increase and improve your quality as soon as you can. I was watching this girl, uh, Chelsea Lifts, and she talked about what she did. She spent five grand on cameras, computers and stuff. Now her channel got to over 100,000 viewers, I mean 100,000 subscribers, and it's a very rigorous subscriber base, they often chime in, she gets really good pull when she puts a video up. Her quality is fucking amazing. Quality, a quality camera can make a regular scene look amazing. You get the depth of feel, you get the colors, you have the ability for color grading, you can do more tricks. It, it's better to have more than you need and not need it than to need it and can't get it. So that is a really, really big part of this. And that's another reason that you can't win and your channel may be sucking ass. Because I know many people go, this is very controversial. No, I don't need to spend all that money on that equipment. Well, if you look at it as an investment for future earnings, you're not spending a lot of money on equipment. You're making an investment today for money tomorrow. And if you don't believe me, there's a lot of women who are in the beauty of vlogger world. And you've got for every star that you have, and that star would be someone with <clears throat> a million subscribers, crazy views. You got a hundred thousand girls barely hanging on. And I see it because I see the videos and they're like they don't even clean up their bedrooms. And look, I'm gonna just be really, really honest. If you are a woman and on the scale of hotness, of 1 to 10 you're a 12 a dirty bedroom is not going to fuck up your presentation because guys don't care and a lot of girls don't care but if you're just okay you got to do everything you can to make your presentation pop i've saw one girl she's she's attractive and she's got herself a really nice backdrop where she does her videos it show lights her you know showcases her apartment and it's just a nice frame and she's working it so there's this whole notion of you don't have to spend a lot of money okay keep playing that uh there's this channel i think it's the game changer or something where they highlight highly successful youtubers who abandon their channels or people abandon the channel they just stop watching 
I was having a conversation with a friend and on, on Facebook and I sent her this information because she had a channel and she's just like, she's not getting the views. I'm seeing people with major production value videos getting 30 views when they put up a video. And part of the reason, the third reason, YouTube is way more crowded. YouTube used to be this cool ass speakeasy where you had to know the hand, secret handshake. You had to have all the right code and you would get in, right? And it was wonderful and fantastic. Now, YouTube is like VidCon. There's everybody there. Everybody's there. Everyone's got a camera. Everyone has good, amazing quality. Everyone has great stories. And the the floor to getting in is to have good quality and a great story. That's just the floor. Everyone's got it. It's very common. So if you're like, hey, I got good stuff, I got good videos, but I'm not making any money, you and a thousand other people have the same things. You have to make yourself remarkable. You have to make yourself different. Very, very different. And that's another reason your channel may not be bringing in the money. And if you want to make money from your YouTube channel, and I'm talking about real bank and real bank is the money that pays the mortgage is the money that gives you money to pay cash for cars it's the money where you are like 20 years old and you can move out of your parents house and live in a better neighborhood or the same neighborhood i'm talking about bankable money and there are some youtubers who are doing it and everyone that i review and look at they have amazing quality they do their vlogs with a dslr or a high very high quality canning camera something that's 600 to a thousand dollars they use that for their vlogs i understand technology makes things cheaper I understand you can get a good setup for 300 bucks but the question i will put to you do you want to be good enough or do you want to be fucking awesome what do you want to be what, what, what is it do you want to be good enough or do you want to be fucking awesome because good enough gets treated like a commodity and fucking awesome gets paid so that's just a little tip there now another reason that a lot of youtubers are not making money is there is what i call money shame and i spoke on it earlier if you don't don't ever you know if you're not charging people money or you do a review do not ingratiate yourself or do some kind of suflex on yourself like i'm not trying to make any money no i'm not paid all right you live in an apartment, right, or a house, and you drive a car, it takes money to make that stuff work. So why are you allergic to money? It's like some people are allergic to money. I've actually seen some YouTubers shoot themselves in the foot. And, you know, I don't think it was intentional, but just the language and the way they position themselves. You can sell something to someone. It's okay. <laughs> if you put out a really good product, is not a bad thing it's just not so th those are just some of the tips why your channel is not making money all right now here's some solutions if you want to make money with YouTube position yourself to make money now this is gonna be very harsh some of you may need to just completely abandon the channel you have and start from scratch because when you try to fix a channel, and I'm speaking from experience because I'm going through that, I started off with one topic, and then I pissed off a lot of people when I decided to change. Just, just letting you know, you can try it with your current channel, but if your audience that you built was used to hamburgers, and now all of a sudden you are serving chicken, a lot of them are gonna leave because they'll be like, yo, I came for the steak burger. I didn't come from this motherfucking chicken burger. I'm going down the street where they serve steak. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. So, you know, that, that was a little advice from someone who's been there. And for me, what I do since my income isn't predicated on AdSense, and really it's not predicated on subscribers. I have, what, 39,000 subscribers right now. I do anywhere from 250 to 300,000 views a month. Do the math. <laughs> it's not the subscribers. Do the math. It's not my subscribers who are watching, you know, all of my videos. It's new people. When I go into the YouTube metrics, 70% uh, of my views are come from referrals. Recommended views by YouTube. So 
with that, you got to get new blood. So part of that solution is maybe scrapping everything, starting the new. Another thing is keep doing what you're doing, start another channel and put more time and energy into the new channel, which will be kind of disheartening because you're not going to get the views that you're getting on your main channel and just stick with it. Uh, I got a two year plan. I mean, this channel is going to be how to make money online, how to make money in business. So I have a few more topics and I just had to learn how to streamline it and put it together in a better package. But those are just some of your choices. You can do sponsorships, but once again, you're talking about sponsorships or any kind. Your channel has to be clean. You have to have remarkable quality. You're gonna have to have some serious engagements from your subscriber base or whoever comes to your channel. So that's just some things. Now, if, you know, once again, if you are a YouTuber and you have a channel, 10, 20, 30, 40,000 viewers, and you want some help on making some money, there's a phone number below. Call the phone number, call anytime. It's just, you want to leave a message and tell me about your channel. Tell me what you want to do. And if I can help you, it's either way, I'll call you back. If I can't help you, I'll tell you. But if I can help you, I can put you on the training program on how you might, because there's some channels, it's just not gonna happen. You're just not gonna be able to start selling a product because it just doesn't, your channel or topic doesn't lend itself. But if you've got a channel that can come up with a product, I can give you a funnel and a methodology where you could quadruple maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 times your current AdSense income. Maybe 100 times. Seriously. Um, this, is, this is how I make a living. I've been doing this since 2010. I started in 2009 and 2010, my first full year, I made 62,000 and I couldn't get AdSense. I couldn't get AdSense. That wasn't AdSense money, that was from direct sales. So this is something that I've been doing a long time and this is something that very few people on YouTube even talk about because anytime you mention, oh, making money from YouTube that's not outside of some passive, people like lose their collective fucking minds. But if you want to make some scratch, and if I can help you, just call the number, I'll review your channel, and I'll let you know if I can, if I can. Because every channel, it's just not going to happen. There's other strategies, but from selling a product, let me give it, give it to you like this. If you got a good channel and you come up with a good funnel and a product, you could be making serious money within one, one week or four weeks. Maybe even a day if you've got certain things already established. And this is the reason why. If you have 200 views, thousand views a month, 300,000 views, half a million views, a million views, you already have a lot of traffic. You just don't know what to do with it. So if you already got the traffic, and that's you know the biggest problem everybody online has, getting traffic or getting more traffic. You got that solved, you just don't know how to monetize it. And that's one of the things that I can do. So once again, go below the video, check it out, and uh, maybe I'll talk to you in the very near future.